Thank two. Live group bullseye. One zero zero six seven twenty five thousand spades. Thank one hostile. Middle. North. Understand crank north. A affirmative. I'm the commander of the three ninety third expeditionary bomb squadron and the bomber task force here at Fairford, England. It's a good question. Uh, I will admit that in the B-2 there is a tendency for us to fly uh, inside the cockpit, we call it, uh, looking at our weapons and our navigation solutions and all of the things, the engines and all of the uh, systems in the jet. Uh, however, we've made an intentional effort this time to stop for a moment as you're in the air, look around uh, at the beautiful scenery, uh, see Scotland and see Ireland and obviously the UK, uh, look out to the North Sea and all the parts. Uh, I have on multiple times just stopped and said, hey dude, this is pretty awesome. Uh, you can do a great thing right now. Uh, watching the sunset go down, with a bunch of tankers behind it, uh, it's been awesome. So yes, both of them. Uh, Fairford is close enough to Whiteman that we can make it back and forth without refueling. Uh, we like refueling, uh, at least one refueling on the way here because it gives us more options for divert in case the weather were bad here or we had some sort of problems with uh, the engines or some sort of malfunction. Uh, so we typically, with any BTF, will send an ADVON crew or advanced notice crew uh, of less than 100 people that go out and establish the, uh, the base for us. So when we arrive, all the security is set up, uh, all the comm is set up, and things like that. Uh, so obviously we're here uh, as long as the mission takes. Uh, the, the dates are classified just to make sure our guys are taken care of, um, but not much longer. Absolutely. Uh, it's highly encouraged that uh, when they do have downtime, which is normally on the weekends, that they go out and enjoy the, the area. Uh, I'll tell you, on my first walk from the base out to Fairford, it just how picturesque it was, uh, how quaint and beautiful everything was, and historic. Um, so I do encourage my guys to go out to Siren. Uh, I went there the other day just to get my hair cut, which was awesome. Uh, to enjoy Fairford, obviously the local pubs and just the camaraderie with the, the, the people here has been awesome for us. So yes, they are getting out. They do love it here. Some of them may not want to go home, but of course we have a mission back at home that we have to get to. So. The B-2 flies surprisingly smooth uh, for a large aircraft uh, and can turn rather rapidly. Uh, the maximum G limit on the, the B-2 is 2 Gs, so that means 60 degrees of bank, so the turn angle is not as great as some of your fighters. But compared to a B-52, the response is really, really fast, uh, and it flies just like the P-30s that we would fly back at home. Yes, uh, probably different answers, uh, depending on who you are. Uh, what we would normally tell people is that you would think that, we, that my entire job is flying, and that's not always the case. Uh, we spend about half of our time doing administrative work, uh, whether you're in charge of the weaponeering and tracking all of our weapons and allocations or things like that. Scheduling is a huge shop for us, training to make sure we're getting all of our training requirements done. So it depends on day to day, and that's what makes flying unique, is that every day is something different for us. Um, but we do fly a lot, that is our focus, and we do a lot of administrative work as well. I love, I love the question. Um, I guess I would be proud to say that yes, my kids know uh, that I fly the B-2 and they love to go outside and uh, I gave their, their class at school a speech one time uh, and I would make the symbol for them so they would see it and every time they see a B-2 flying around now they, you know, they, they put their hands up to, to see it. Um, so yes, they, they know that I fly the B-2, they are proud, they, they don't really know how much it costs. Uh, someday they'll learn that. But I'm actually more proud of the fact that they don't necessarily care about what I do. Uh, they care that I come home and they know that the most important job for me is to be their dad. Question 8. Any chance of a fast taxi run experience? Although, of course, <laughs> I'm more than happy to occupy the jump seat on a flight too. <laughs> uh, I don't see a fast taxi experience. We do a spouse taxi at home and that's in the T-38, not in the B-2. Uh, so if we ever start doing B-2 fast taxi experiences for people, uh, yeah, we'll definitely sign that, sign that guy up. Uh, he'll have to be in line behind my wife, of course, but uh, yeah, I'll, we'll let him know when we get to that. The longest uh, recorded combat mission in history is in the B-2, 44.3 hours, which was flown from Whiteman 
uh, to Afghanistan and then to Diego Garcia. So it's a pretty long time. You can imagine being in the jet for 20 hours and then thinking to yourself, I have a whole other day left to be in this cockpit. But there's two people. We take turns getting crew rest. Um, you know, with a toilet in there and a microwave, there's some nice amenities for us, but it is still a long time. Uh, sure. Um, so it takes six months of initial qualification training that they do in a different squadron. Uh, I get them once they're qualified in the jet, they have a Form 8, which is a form we use to say that you're certified to fly it. Uh, about 18 months from there is the, the process it takes to become uh, an aircraft commander, which means they can sign for the jet. Uh, they then become a flight lead, which means they can be in charge of a formation, and then ultimately they can become an instructor pilot, and that process is anywhere from 18 months to, to two years. So although I think it might be possible that there's a pilot out there that does, is not aware of the threats, uh, we are inundated every single day from our intel shop with the threats that we have to face and how we are going to mitigate them. We say that the primary tactic of the B-2 is mission planning. Um, so there's no way anyone who realistically is going to go to combat is going to be unaware of the threats that are out there uh, and that we have to take special procedures and tactics to avoid them. Martha. Group split azimuth. Playing one single group maneuver azimuth north arm beat north wind, south arm beat south wind, two thousand two context. For two groups. 65, 36,000, hostile two contacts, turning hot. 